In this video, we'll look at whether C2H6, which is called ethane, is polar or nonpolar. So we need to look at the Lewis structure to get an idea where the atoms and then the valence electrons are distributed around the molecule. That'll help us figure out the shape and the polarity. So here's the Lewis structure for C2H6. When we look at carbon and hydrogen, they have very similar electronegativities. So we're probably not going to see much of a difference in polarity there, meaning it's likely that this will be a nonpolar molecule. We can also look at the shape of the molecule to see if there might be some unequal distribution of charge. For C2H6, those hydrogen atoms, they're going to spread out around the carbon and as far away from each other as they possibly can, and that'll give us the shape. That'll look something like this. So the carbons there, the dark color, the gray, and then the white, those are the hydrogens. You can see that the hydrogens are spread out pretty much as far away from each other as they possibly can be. If we take a look at the surface of the molecule, we see that there's really no net charge. There's no difference in the dipole on any side of the molecule. So the, the surface of the molecule has the same charge throughout, and that means that there's no poles, and if there's no poles, it's nonpolar. So together with looking at the electronegativity differences between the hydrogens and the carbons, and looking at the shape of the molecule, we can determine that C2H6 is a nonpolar molecule. This is Dr. B, and thanks for watching.